All right, so today we're going to be respawning the ender dragon. Um, for this you're going to need, I might as well put an ender chest down right here because might as well, I can make as many of them as I want. So if you should have an elytra already if you're resummoning the ender dragon. So I'm going to approach this from the fact that you have an elytra. Um, all you really need is four end crystals. To make end crystals, you need gas tier, glass, and I believe obsidian. I can't remember exactly. Usually I just look at the recipe, but we're going to go like that. You need four of them. We're going to put these on the bar right now. All right, I also brought a lodestone, um, a glow item frame, and a compass, but that's just so that way we, we can link it up when we get our new opening portal because you're going to get a new end dimension portal that leads you to a different area of the end, which I'm doing hoping that... I find an end city extremely close by because I want to build a shulker farm which is going to be one of the next tutorials I do um, because I find myself needing more and more shulker boxes I mean I have these plus 10 but it's still never it's never enough shulker boxes. So I'm definitely gonna make a shulker farm so we're gonna head to the end here luckily I got a really good end spawn where you're inside the end island which I like these a lot better than when you're out over the void um, so it's extremely simple we're going to come over here. Okay. So, if you notice, the end portal frame has four main sides. And they're an odd number. So, what you're going to do is you're going to place an end crystal right in the center of each of these main sides like this. And don't place them in the wrong spot because if you do, you cannot pick them back up. So we're going to go like that. This is going to resummon the dragon. We're going to take flight right now while this all rebuilds. I'm going to put on another set of rockets just in case I need them. And we're just going to let this thing do its thing real quick. While we wait. Come on. You can do it. Rebuild those end crystals just so I can blow them up. I'm just having fun right now. Pretty sure you can't destroy them until the soul part's done anyway. There we go. We should be able to destroy them now. It's one. Nice and easy. So we're just going to fly around, destroy all the end crystals extremely quickly. I missed. Took a little bit of damage from that one, but that's fine. You don't want a dragon. Get out of my face, bro. I turned the volume down because this part can be a little loud, but as you can see it's extremely easy with an elytra to do this fight. Wow, that missed. Interesting. We're going to fly up again, get some more uh, height. Bang. Wow, look at that. That's the tiniest little end crystal I've ever seen in my life. Mm -mm -mm. I missed. <laughs> Unfortunate. All right. Boom. He can perch all he wants. Yeah. Make sure you don't accidentally hit the end crystal for this part because it will probably kill you. <laughs> Ow. Wow, I fell inside. Interesting. Okay, so now we're going to fly back out. We're going to turn back around and we're going to take this one out. All right, took a little bit of damage, but that's why the video I made right before this was how to get infinite golden apples, because we have nothing to worry about. Now we're just going to land and take out a whole wall of this. Hopefully he doesn't shoot his dragon breath up here. Oh, I should have brought glass bottles. It's all right. I don't really use dragon breath for much anyway. Then we're going to get out of here. Then after this, we're going to fly around and shoot the dragon a bunch. Got it. Okay. He's completely vulnerable. So now we're going to fly and uh, handle this business. Yeah, I hit you, bro. What about it? I can fly better than you. Your wings are attached. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm trash. <laughs> Come here, bro. All right. So now we put on our armor. This Enderman's going to attack me, I think, but that's okay. I'll take his damage for right now. Just jump a bunch. Since we're on bedrock, we can kind of just spam it. Ow. Fire. Fire not nice. 
Okay, where are you at, dragon? I can't see anything because I'm on fire. Here we go. Okay, he's perching again. Just put that fire out and hit him in the head because he takes way more damage. He's already halfway dead, under halfway, about a third of his life bar left, so we're going to put this on. It doesn't matter if you look at Enderman and tick him off because you can literally fly and it usually despawns him anyway. So, all you have to do is focus on the dragon. He keeps switching angles so much. Stay still, sir. Just stay still and let me murder you. Mm-hmm. You don't want it, bro. You don't want it. I'll, I'll land and take a little bit of damage for that shot. Come on. Can you just perch already so I can finish you off? Yeah. Do do do. He's running a lot. <laughs> perch, sir. Okay, so now we just got to plop our armor on, jump back up here, and finish him off. Easy, nice, and painless. That's right, I'm an expert Minecrafter. Just kidding. <laughs> Let's take all this experience that he drops. It's, for some reason, all falling in the portal. Okay. So, as you can see, we now have a new end gateway right next to our other one, which is kind of unfortunate. I was hoping to be on the other side. Second dragon egg of the world. I, by the way, I see a bunch of YouTubers saying that you can only get one dragon egg. I don't know where they're getting that from. Every time you respawn the dragon, it will give you another egg. I don't understand why that became some, like, thing that people say, but it's not, it's just not true. Um, so if you don't know how to collect the dragon egg, you're gonna come underneath the egg like this. You're gonna leave one block, solid block, underneath it. I'm gonna actually put down an ender chest for a second because I don't have any. I didn't grab any torches on me, but I do have some ready and available. So we're just gonna go like this. We're gonna get out some torches. You're gonna place a torch underneath the ender dragon egg. Put all this crap away because we don't need it. Then you're gonna dig out that block, and boom, it becomes a grabbable item. That simple. Is it silk touch? It is. Okay. We'll pick that back up because it doesn't need to be here. Boom, we have another dragon egg. So now I'm going to ditch. Don't even try to make me look at you, Enderman, while I'm in my menu. I know how you guys be. All right. So we're going to go like this. And now it's going to be about end city raiding from here on out. I'm going to restart the recording, and I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, we have another gateway portal right here, brand new one. So now we're going to build ourselves a little platform up. As you can see, I brought a lodestone and a compass. We're going to attach these to our platform up here, so that way the compass will always stay here. Before we go through the portal, we grab it, and it will always lead us back here. Well, on the other side of the portal, we're going to put the lodestone down, attach the compass to it, and then put the compass on a glow item frame when we get back. But I will show you. So we're going to put down another ender chest. Probably should have just did this before, but that's okay. And we're just going to grab... I have random blocks. should have one that has a ton of blackstone in it right here maybe we'll do crying obsidian make it look real nice okay pick that back up put that away okay we'll take off the enchanted golden apple because we're not going to need it out there pick you back up okay so now without looking at any enderman we're going to tower up like this which is also a light block Look at this guy staring at me. What you looking at, bro? I will come down there. Don't make me. Make sure we don't look at him, because that's exactly what he wants me to do. So we're going to pillar up over here. Just get to the platform, and once we're in range, I think we need about one more. All right. <laughs> Maybe more. Okay. So then we're just going to create a, stair a staircase down, just like that. Boom. Boom. And then we'll go boom. So now we have this beginning of a stair set. We can come over here, drop down, and I'll just go like this, and pillar up to it. I don't care, I have so much crying obsidian, it's coming out my ears. I'm gonna jump, place that there, go like this. 
pre-op. Okay. Or hit the wrong block multiple times. That, that's a thing too. Okay. Boom. Now we have our stair set up. And then we're going to come over here. Mm -mm -mm. Now we're just going to create a little uh, protective platform around this so we don't fall when we come back through because I really don't like that ever since they had that glitch where you could just fall through when you came through one of these I've been sketched out and it's never gonna change I get the feeling so we're gonna come over here just like this we just want a little platform doesn't have to be anything crazy that's good now we just need some ender pearls which I'll show you a little trick in case you don't know this also can be used to heal your elytra when you're out in the end. Oh, sir, sir, I needed to kill you anyways. Come here. Come here. Oh, stop it. Thank you. Hey, I don't even have to go in my ender chest. Thank you. You actually helped me. So we're going to put this back on. Then we're just going to come over here. You can use a trap door, but I'm not a big fan of that method, personally. I'd rather just use ender pearls because... Our piglin bartering farm gives us like a gajillion of these things, so we'll save that for when it's time to go. So, come on, end city right near it, because if not, I'm gonna have to resummon this guy. I mean, it can be kind of close; it doesn't have to be right next to it. I would have preferred if it, we could have literally just seen it the second we got here. So, what we're gonna do is now we're just gonna go like this. We're gonna place down the lodestone. We're then gonna take our compass, link it to it, and then we'll keep this compass on us so we can always find our way back here and we never get lost I'm gonna put down a glow item frame and when we get back we'll put the compass in here and anytime we come through this particular portal we grab that compass and we always know where home is I mean you could just write down the coordinates but I have so much netherite I don't care <laughs> okay so time to look for an end city which shouldn't be that difficult we have elytra so I'm not too concerned with that so now we're just gonna fly up real quick see what we see you could have brought um wait look it's is this literally this is right next to my other one so respawning that dragon really didn't do much for me because this is the gateway right next to my other gateway my other gateway is literally over there I believe because we have a bridge right here which means that we came from this way so if I follow my bridges is this the is this game gateway lead nope see this is my original gateway what why would it give me one so close that's so useless okay well, whatever. It is what it is. The The tutorial is still going to be relevant. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pick a direction and we're just going to fly straight in that direction until we see an end city. And um, I will keep going and when I see an end city I will get back to you and show you exactly how I raid end cities really quickly. And we get shulker shells. This obviously was a bust for the shulker farm, but we'll figure that out later.